exactly, yeah, and I'm very, I'm very grateful you've stopped to listen today, my friend, yeah. And that's what I'm trying to say, Jesus spoke a lot of sense. So we can agree with that when Jesus said, love your enemies. But can you agree with this when Jesus said this? I am the way, the truth and the life. No man can come to the Father except through me. Religion won't save you. Uh, religious figures won't save you. It's only coming to Jesus Christ, the one who shed his blood on a cross. The one who had a crown of thorns smashed into his skull. The one who had his hands pierced. The one who was spat on. The one who was beaten. Who had his back lacerated. This God man, Jesus Christ, shed his blood on a cross for you. The Bible says if you leave with one thought today, I want you to leave with this one. It says in the Bible, without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness of sins. And Jesus shed his blood on a cross for your sins because you've done wrong. I don't, I don't know you, but I bet I can say something about you right now. I reckon there's someone going by today who's told lies. Am I right? You've told lies, I've told lies. I reckon you you probably looked at things on the internet that if we put everything you've seen on the internet on this board, you'd be ashamed. I reckon there's thieves going by. I reckon there's people who say OMG on a regular basis going by. All of us are sinners. And, and well, yeah, but what I'm saying to you, my friend, is all of our sins, the wrongs that you've done, the wrongs that I've done, it was laid on Jesus. And Jesus was punished on that cross. So if you come to him, if you say sorry for your wrong, if you admit you're a sinner, if you call out to this saviour, he promises to forgive you and wash you white and snow. Is there anyone in Manchester today who needs their sins forgiven? I reckon there's a lot of people. Jesus put it like this. He said, road is the way to destruction. There's many on that road, but narrow is the way to eternal life. You find it. Is that right or wrong? Here we are, we've got a broad road here. Do you think on this broad, massive road, there's many born-again believers? There's not, is there? But yet there's a narrow road. Just look at churches today, the true churches, which preach the word of God. It's empty. Why? Because people don't want Jesus. They don't want this God who says, I love you, I died for you, come to me. Please think about this God man today. One final challenge. I do wonder if there's any atheists going by in uh, Manchester today. If you're an atheist, I'm going to put a problem to you now. I'm going to put a bit of a challenge to any atheist here today in Manchester. Now, Mr. Atheist, Mrs. Atheist, what would you think of me now if I said to you, Harry Potter is a terrible book? Yeah, okay. What if I said Harry Potter is the worst book in the world, but I've never read it before, what would you think of me? Well, you'd say read it first and then make a judgment. Well, I'll give anyone a portion of the Bible who's not too ashamed to take it from my hand. Just take it. Read it for yourself. These are good words. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And if you read these things, you'll find out that he really was the real deal. It's, it's written factually, okay? With real places, with real people. Read it for yourself. That's the greatest challenge. Can you take one? Okay, thank you. I believe in Michelle. No, it's free. 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 Oh, you're from the Netherlands. Yeah, no, we're uh, 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 u